All right, ladies and gents, it's time for something different. It's time for something new. It's time for something completely unprecedented and something I've never done before. You ready? My first ever game exclusively being played on the Xbox Series X, meaning if I didn't have this console, I would not be able to play it. Um, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, this game came out yesterday. Today, I'm finally here streaming. So, I'm going to try it out. I don't know anything about it. Like, I don't know how to fly a plane. I don't know anything about flying a plane. Um, I've only flown in my lifetime, mostly in the continental U.S. I have been all around the continental U.S., but I've never been international except one time I went to Newfoundland, Canada for a business trip. Uh, and since then, you know, very limited flights actually. Probably in the last decade, I think I've flown three times, maybe four. Not much. Um, so, I am a new. Never played a sim game like this before, nothing. I am completely a newcomer, all right? So I have no idea what's going on. When I booted the game earlier today, I wanted to make sure I had all the updates installed. Some initial configuration options pop popped, uh, like popped up right away. And I just basically selected kind of the default stuff. I think it's by default, it's on easy mode. Like, it doesn't make it difficult, but you can make it like ultra sim mode if you want and stuff like that. Uh, I don't have a flight stick. I'll just be using the standard Xbox Series X gamepad here, all right? Um, so, you know, there's different things you can do in the game. I can, I can easily jump right to a Discovery flight. An easy airborne flight around an iconic and beautiful location. Or we can do a little bit of flight training. I think what we may do is mess around and do just a little bit of flight training first. Just to get the handle of it, just see what it is. I don't want to do that all night. I'm going to be honest with everyone. I'm not going to sit here for an hour in flight training. I want to get to a flight and fly around the world and see beautiful things. That's what the whole purpose of me playing this game is at this point is... Having a relaxing stream with you guys, flying around, talking, chilling, enjoying, looking at beautiful scenery together. That's what this is all about for me. I'm not a person who's going to play this game and try to actually learn how to fly a plane. It's not what my agenda is here, okay? So I hope you understand that. But I, I, I do feel I am a little obligated to at least understand kind of the bare basics of what is in a plane before we actually fly all over the world. You know what I'm saying? So we'll do this for a little bit. If it ends up being too long or too, or too annoying or boring, I'll just fuck this. I'll just back out. And we'll go over here and we'll fly around the world. All right? I'm sure this is probably, like, amazing. I've heard there's so many different amazing locations that you can go, uh, you know, on Earth. And they're all supposed to be real. Except, except for no-fly zones. Apparently, no-fly zones, you can't... They didn't map them or nothing, so you can't fly over those. Like, you're not going to be flying over fucking the White... Or not the White House, um... Like, Area 51 and shit. You know, restricted area. You can't fly over North Korea. They're not going to like that very much. They're going to... They're gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not allowed. But for the most part, you're free to do whatever you want. Fly all over the world, which is really neat. I like the premise of the game. And now I'm able to do it because I have an Xbox Series X, which is really sweet. All right, we got a bunch of co uh, contributions that have come in. Let's shout them out. We got Pilot Sean, who took $4.20. He said, I'm a commercial pilot. Try to guide you in the chat. Good luck, Captain Phil. Loving the streams. Uh, I am amazed that I actually have a commercial pilot that watches my content because that's a pretty difficult job, I would think, right? Um, and I never thought that you would watch my kind of content. I thought maybe you'd be a little bit too low brow for you, you know. Oh, <laughs> well. Awesome. Yeah, any, any, I'll take any help I can get because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, we got a bunch of super chats that just happened all at once. Okay. The first one came in from... That is... Oh, there we go. King Wolf Wolf, who did a super chat and says, Let's... It's takeoff time. Oh, let's go. Stay seated. All right. And keep your... You should also keep your tray tables firmly, uh, you know, uh, stowed. Keep your seat belt on. Shut the fuck up. Don't bother the people sitting next to you. Uh, Aaron Murphy did a $10 super chat, and he says, I'm going to get some Taco Bell. I slap up those quesadillas and chalupas. I don't know what the hell that has to do with tonight, but I appreciate the contribution regardless. I hope you enjoy your Taco Bell. Um, Connor X Crash just did a super chat and says, "What's up? I've never played uh, or seen actual gameplay of a flight sim before, so I can't wait to see some beautiful gameplay tonight. I'm in the same boat as you. Never played it, never seen it. Uh, a bunch of numbers that I'm definitely not reading out right now. Just did a super chat that I played the game for over 300 hours on PC. Fly a propeller plane that has autopilot. Plot your route beforehand and just enable it after takeoff. So it just does everything for you in that case, huh? Interesting." This guy's name is crazy. It's like 101578 I can't read that. But I appreciate the super chat, man. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, Without further ado, just click on this. Get this. Oh, 
Carlton Jr. to me $4.20. I need you to put on your best flight attendant voice for the majority of this playthrough. Okay, ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight to the Flight Sim. Debut stream here live on DSP Gaming on YouTube. Please, restrain your excitement. Keep your children securely fastened. Keep your tray tables up in an upright position. Keep your seatbelt on. Keep your mouth shut. Don't cough on your neighbor, that's disgusting. And enjoy as Phil completely fucks up and crashes repeatedly. Have a good night. And a good flight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Basic handling. Oh, this sounds great. Let's do it. Amplatory just did a $2 super chat. Thank you, Amplatory, for that super chat. In fact, you're the latest super chatter, so let's just toss you up there on the leaderboard. All right. So let's see. Introduction. Fly. Let's do it. I don't need to fucking read this. I don't read anything. Read. What in the hell is he taught? Read things. Tell me what to do. Don't. I'm not reading shit. I don't know how to read. What do you think? I'm literate? Have you seen my streams over the last 13 years? Let's get this show on the road. Come on. We learn by doing. That's how we learn. Hands on. Excuse me. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to burp so early in the stream. It's very nasty. Okay. <clears throat> A Sedona. K says plane. Okay. Look at that guy down there. Uh, I'm not so sure about the lighting, but okay. The lighting looks a little weird. Wait, what am I doing? Welcome to Sedona. I'm okay. Captain Jess Molina, and I'll be your instructor. Okay. For this lesson, we're going to start on the ground and focus on some basic concepts. Fundamentals every pilot needs to know before hitting the skies. Okay, let's go. This is your plane. A look at classic. This. This is a rudder. The Cessna 152. Take a look around Ooh. it. In the simulator, anytime you want, you can easily switch to cursor mode. Whoa, I'm going to be honest. That frame rate is kind of jarring. I knew the game only run, ran at 30 frames per second because the, the apparently the game has an incredible amount of detail once you start flying. But that's kind of... It's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it looks a little choppy to me. I guess we'll see once we start flying if it gets better or not, right? So our triggers are the rudder. I see that much. Uh, bumpers don't do jack. Oh! Oh, here you go. Your elevation. So you go up or down. With the left thumbstick is up or down, and the trigger... What happened? The guy disappeared. Did you see that? There was a man on a on a cart. Well, I guess we won't talk about that. I think he got sucked into a black hole or something. He's gone. Look, now there's a man over there. He wasn't there before. What is going on? All right, this is weird stuff, man. Anyway, so... Okay, left and right on the rudder there. Triggers. Up and down, so you go up or down with the left thumbstick. Camera's obviously right thumbstick. I don't know any idea what the buttons... Oh, shit, what did I just do? Oh, no, I screwed up. What did I just do? Something disappeared from the top of the screen. I don't know what it was. I guess the D-pad's not really doing anything. Switch to cursor mode by pressing in on the left thumbstick. The cursor is handy for interacting with menus and cockpit controls or instruments. As you can see, activating the cursor also displays the toolbar. Okay. The toolbar is a quick access menu that allows you to control various aspects of the simulation. What? Why are there no subtitles? Hold on. Can I turn on subtitles? I like subtitles. Accessibility should be under that, right? Enable screen narrator. No, no, no. I want subtitles. Use your interface. And then, oh, here we go. Subtitles. Beautiful. On. On. Apply and save. Good. Very good. Chocobo goes to me $5, says, wait, Phil, let me come along. I'm a flightless Chocobo, and I want to touch the sky. Oh, so you're not the, the black Chocobo? That's a shame. Well, okay, you can come with. Everyone can come with. Everyone come on, pop a cold one, and jump on this party plane with me. Get on the soul plane. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. We got more shout-outs to do. We've got... Uh, the Messy Gentleman did a super chat and says the plane glitched, and then that guy whose name is All Numbers also did another super chat. 
I should just put him out on the screen as the guy whose name is all numbers. 101-58719. I'm just going to put that. Because that's only half of his name. I hope you understand why I can't type out your entire name. It's too ridiculous. What a name this guy has. Okay. So subtitles are on. Try to find and open the basic controls panel. Open the basic controls panel, she said. Basic control. The basic controls panel is Here we a go. useful reminder of the button layout for the devices you're currently using. Now try to find and open the camera panel in the toolbar. Okay, so it says increased throttle will be A, decreased throttle will be B, so speed up, slow down. Actual brakes is X. Now that ain't gonna do shit in the sky. That's only when you're on the ground. Um autopilot is Y. Okay. That's good to know. And the rudder, yep. Systems modifier, camera modifier. Don't know what those mean. Maybe they'll teach me on the fly. Increase your flaps. Decrease your flaps. Toggle parking brakes and toggle your landing gear. Landing gear be important if you're trying to land the plane. That's right on the D-pad. Okay. Oh, and then cockpit and external view mode is this button. The back. I call it the back button, but it used to be the select button. I don't even know what the fuck that's called now. It's like the, the square within a square floating around button or something. I don't know what it is, but that button. Okay, that's cool. All right, so they want me to do camera mode. The camera panel allows you to access the various views and camera modes of the simulation. Go ahead and close all the panels for now. Oh, it's like, oh, it's actually like you're in, on a PC. You click the X, just close the window. Right now, we are in the external view mode. Yes. Let's switch to cockpit view next. Okay. So, camera. Cockpit. In front of you is the yoke, the primary means of controlling the aircraft. In the simulation, you'll be controlling the aircraft with your peripherals of choice. So okay. let's hide the yoke for now. Hide the yoke? Press A to interact. Wait, what? How would I hide the yoke? Cabin lighting? Yoke visibility. Some instruments allow oh. multiple interactions. For example, rotating a dial clockwise or counterclockwise. In these cases, you need to lock the cursor onto them in order to interact. For example, take a look at the clock in the middle of the dashboard. Go ahead and lock the cursor on it. The clock in the middle of the dashboard? This is a oh, that's a clock? <laughs> Dude, that's confusing. You have a hundred dials that all mean other things, and in the middle is just a standard clock. I'd be like, what? Why the fuck did you put that there? You confused me. Now change the clock time. Adjust the clock. Move the right thumbstick you to interact. You can unlock the cursor once you're ready. Does it say... Toggle between hours and minutes? Hours. Why am I fucking with the time? Why am I doing this? For now, know. we're done with the cursor. So go ahead and hide it. Huh? Oh. All right. Okay. As we've seen, when you want to look around you, it's easy to rotate the camera. But you can also move it freely in the cockpit to get a better view of anything you want to see. Even through a window to look outside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's a pretty good detail on the pavement. I just think the, the coloration and lighting is off. The detail actually on the pavement looks good. But it looks like it's like washed out. Like it doesn't look realistic to me. You know what I mean? Like you definitely tell it's virtual. This, look, there's like nothing. no Nothing metallic, nothing on that at all. Although there is up here. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, Alright. So what am I doing? Hold left bumper and move the camera around. Pro tip. Once you find a camera position you like, you can save a shortcut to easily get back to that view anytime. So I could sit I could sit between the two seats and fly the plane in the middle. Oh, this is a Cessna, by the way. I didn't even know that. You sit right in the middle. You could sit you could fly from the passenger seat. I mean the passenger also has a yoke, so the passenger technically could take over the flight if they wanted to in a real plane. Well, certain real planes, I guess I should say, right? Now, I don't know. Now, I like sitting in the pilot. Let's just sit there in the pilot seat where you're supposed to be. Okay. Now there. reset the camera to its original position. Then try switching to your custom one again. How? Get back to the pilot view by pressing right thumbstick. Okay. And then Press left bumper and Y to call up all the right. custom camera. That covers all the main camera functions the available same. in the simulation. Try to familiarize yourself with them a bit more. Then reset the camera to its original position whenever you're done. Uh, reset the... I'm done. Great. Fuck this. Now what? 
I just earned 10,000 points and I got an achievement. What the hell? Dude, guys, you have no idea what just happened. What the fuck? I've never seen that before. My laptop is synced with my Microsoft account. So when I just got an achievement in the game, it popped up on my laptop screen. What the hell was that? I have never seen that before. That must be a Windows 10 thing, right? It syncs Xbox Live games with your, your laptop. It popped up there and then it popped up here. I was like, what? It blew me away. My, my pants actually flew off my body. I'm completely pantsless now from the waist down, so you guys better watch out. Don't get me stand up, okay? All right, that was amazing. Okay, um, so now what am I doing? Next. Okay. Back to the main menu. Training menu. Okay. No, I already did this. Aircraft essentials. I guess that's next. Okay. All right, this guy whose name is a bunch of numbers. Then another super chat. The easiest plane for you to fly will be the Icon A5. It's in the menu. The plane with the propeller situated behind the cockpit. That's the plane for you. Huh. Cool. Thank you for the super chat. Ooh, excuse me. Aircraft essentials. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. I'm already bored. I want to fucking fly places. I want to see stuff happening. I don't want to be in a plane flying it. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm pantsless to do jumping jacks. No, I'd like to stay streaming on the internet. I don't want to lose my uh, ability to make a living. So I will not stand up right now because, you know, problems. Okay, ready to fly. Is there an FPS mode for him to understand Swagons? No, like what you see is what you get. This is the best it is. Um, this game does not run at 60 frames on console. A Cessna 152 and a few commands to navigate it through the skies. Another In Cessna. Front of you is the yoke. Yes, I know what this is. You the just showed it to like me. It's like a steering wheel more or less. Turn it left or right to control the ailerons and bank the aircraft into Ooh, ailerons. I like that term. Ailerons. Look at the trailing edge of the wings while turning the yoke to see the effect on the ailerons. Wait, how do I do this? What? Okay. Oh, I see. I'm pressing left and right. Now, the difference between the yoke and a steering wheel is you can pull or push on the yoke. This controls the elevator at the back of the aircraft to make it climb or descend. Oh. Look at the like horizontal that. stabilizer while you pull on the yoke. You can see how it affects the elevator. Wee whoa, wee nice. whoa, wee. Is this what pilots do before now they take off? They play with the plane. The wee whoa. They the aircraft when you're on the ground. The upper part of the pedals also control your brakes. In the air, they control the rudder at the end of the vertical stabilizer to yaw the aircraft. This is mostly for small corrections. For coordinating turns or compensating for a plane's tendency to pull left during takeoffs and climbs. Huh. Look at the vertical tail while operating the pedals to see the effect on the rudder. How do I use the pedal? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, right trigger, left trigger. It says at the upper right hand corner. Okay. That's the right. rudder. Yep. Woohoo! I, I like Last to flip the left and right. I like to flip it right and right. The of the okay. Pushing forward will increase power. Pulling back will decrease power. Oh, really? It's, the throttle First, on a plane is just this little knob thing? It. Huh. I never knew that. Select the throttle. I, I said select it. Keep it selected and push it forward to increase power. More power. Oh, that didn't work. It's right thumbstick, not left thumbstick. Ready? We're entering maximum power speed, warp speed, power ludicrous speed. We're going to plat. Ooh. Power is decreased. <laughs> now do the same without focusing on it. Deselect the throttle. Okay. Look away from the throttle and increase power. Hold A to increase throttle. Ooh. Set your throttle to idle. 
I released. Hold B to decrease. Excellent. Okay, it worked. When the engine is on, you'll be able to see the power change on your RPM indicator. You'll find it on the right side of the dashboard. That thing? This Let tells you how fast this. the engine is spinning in hundreds of revolutions per minute. Wow. Next, take a, a look at your current speed on the airspeed indicator. It's on the left what? in the main instrument panel. There are no roads in the sky. Who cares about how fast it we're going once we're up there? It doesn't matter. What, am I going to get pulled over by the space highway the patrol or the air highway the patrol? Right Give me a ticket? Who cares? The altimeter has three hands, similar to a clock. The long, thick pointer indicates 100 foot intervals. The short, thick one is 1,000 foot intervals. And the long, thin one, 10,000 foot intervals. No one needs to know this. This is completely that's superfluous information. Next time, we'll see how it feels in the air. We should, because that's what I need to do. Actually fly a plane, not stare at fucking <laughs> dials all day. Thanks a lot. Okay. Up next, we actually fly something. Sounds like a plan. Flight simulator, we actually get to fly. I mean, what a concept. All right, uh, training menu, right? All right. Because, you know, up in, in the sky, there's sky patrol. They're standing there on a jet hovering with a speed gun to, to shoot every plane going by to see if they're speeding, and then they pull you over, right? Give you a ticket. <laughs> you better pay attention to your speed. All right. You want me to do a barrel roll? That's probably a bad idea, I'm just saying. Can you fly to a thunderstorm? I'm sure you can. I don't know if you want to. I mean, come on now. It's a bad idea. Okay. Wow, it does take a while to load, doesn't it? Yeah, compared to the other games I've been playing recently. All right, we're in the sky. Let's do this. Here we are. I've got to say, you chose a great day to go flying. I did. I didn't choose this day. This you session, did. we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? I don't first know. See, again, first, it looks weird to me. Like the trees look good, but the lighting looks off, right? Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Quick view. I see. This a quick view. Let's go on the right. Where are we, Sedona? See if you can spot the Sedona airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Use the smart cam. There you go. Visual ah. confirmation on the airport. Okay. Number plus A. That looks pretty good. What I'm looking at right now looks pretty good. The city, in fact, looks realistic. The mountains kind of don't. Enjoy the view as the instructor flies to the next stage. Yeah, see, look, there's pop-in. Did you see that pop-in down there? And there's little glitching facts. See, look at this, the wing. You see, like, there's little lighting glitches all along the wing there. It looks kind of weird, man. The buildings look good. Like, that looks real to me. It looks like you're actually flying over those buildings. But the mountains don't look real. <laughs> Jake Lasso did a super chat and he says, would weird graphics have to do with 1080p settings? I have no idea. As you know, we I can only play at 1080p. I don't have the capability to do anything else. Ground. Time to see how it all feels in the air. The aircraft is currently set to a cruise attitude. The position okay. it should be in for regular flight. Cool. All right, now let's try banking into a turn by moving the yoke. I'll go first. All right, don't screw it up. Turn it. So how'd she do that? I don't know. A rudder? Was it a rudder? A rudder plus, like, pulling down, pushing down? As so a it looks general like. rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. Oh, okay. So you want crazy turns. If you go too crazy, I bet the air pressure to tear up the wings and shit. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. Uh You have controls. I do? That's not a good idea. No, wait a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Oh, shit! Wow, it was way more sensitive than I thought it Excellent. would be. That was way As more sensitive than I thought Sedona, it would be. Let's try climbing up and down. Gently pull on the yoke to climb. <laughs> scared me. Give it a try. Wee! I did. Hold your pitch up That's for five good. seconds. There you go. For the descent, is the same principle, except you're pushing on the yoke. Of course. Go ahead. Gently pitch down. Go. That's good. Nice. Okay, time to find the airport again. Look around, and when you found it, make a turn in that direction. To the right. So the city looks good. I actually like how the city looks nice. Right? I like that. That's the airport right there. I'm at the airport, and they're saying I didn't turn towards it. That's it. That's obviously the airport. Look. How can you tell me this is not the airport? Maybe I gotta... Okay, maybe I have to make an approach from the correct angle. Because right now, I'm definitely not at the correct angle. See? Okay, higher up here. Oh, yeah? Once you go low, it looks low quality. Oh, that sucks. I'll try to turn the whole plane around. He's behind me, so I'll try to turn the plane around completely. Make sure any control movements. Oh, it worked now. Check. They counted it. Now that you're more familiar with the aircraft and the surroundings, the next step is to go deeper into handling and techniques. Soon enough, you'll be able to enjoy trips. No, I'm gonna land. Drone. Fuck this. I'm landing right now. Ready? Landing. You're out. Here we go. Oh! Why they give me a B? A B? Fuck you! I don't accept Bs. I only take A's or above. I don't accept Bs grades. What do you think I did wrong? I did what you told me to do, stupid. I did what? What? How did I not do it right? Get the fuck out of here. A B? You're a B. For giving me a B. <laughs> what the hell you think you're doing? Uh, Alright, we'll do one more. And maybe we'll fly actually just do a flight after this. I'm bored of this. I seriously am. Alright, let's go. Fly. So, so far, I feel the city part looks good. But, the, the like, the mountains just didn't look realistic to me. I don't know. That's... My initial observation, it looks like the lighting is kind of off. It doesn't look real, but the city looked good. Ah, okay. Thank you guys so far. A lot of people doing super chats tonight, and I appreciate that. But remember, we have tips goals in effect that we're trying to hit. The tips help me out a lot. Your super chats are going to help me long term, and I appreciate that. But tips help me in the short term, and... We didn't hit the tips goal earlier today, so if you would like to tip tonight and you can, please do. All right, guys? All right. I'm ready to fly. Let's do this. Oh, I'm flying already? To help cool. demonstrate pitch, I've drawn three lines on the windshield. Okay. Notice you better clean those up later. It's expensive aircraft. Horizon while we're flying level. This is the cruise attitude. Oh, I see. The you want the horizon right in the, the middle line. Attitude, and the upper one is the descent attitude. Oh, I like that. Let's dig deeper into what that means. Okay. Pull back gently on the yoke until the climb attitude line matches the horizon. Then okay. Then maintain that attitude. Here we are. According to your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. But we're losing airspeed, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. Ah, so when you're going up, you lose airspeed. Got it. Working on it, you'll get better. Now let's level back out. Okay. Our speed is increasing and our altitude is stable. Cool. Speed increases when you That's good. decrease altitude. Push it's gently gravity. on the yoke until the descent attitude line matches the horizon. Okay. Then maintain 
that attitude. Maintain that As bad expected, attitude. With a nose down attitude, our altitude is decreasing while our speed is picking up. A nose down attitude? I don't know if that's something Great. you want to actually like be known for. You have a nose down attitude. Okay, bring us back to level flight. Now your speed is decreasing and your altitude is stable. Uh huh. That's good. Try to make only small adjustments to your pitch to avoid overcorrection. That's good advice. B? A B? They gave me another B. What did I do wrong? Are you kidding me? A B? B. Wow, they are fucking ridiculous sticklers. My first time ever, they gave me a B. Wow. Imagine if you're like one of those people who's a perfectionist, and in your life you always expect to do the best, and they just keep giving you Bs. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is your problem? All right, these are pretty fast, so we'll do the next one. Uh, 101-58719 did another super chat and says, Fly over Seattle in an Icon A5. I don't know what we're going to be doing tonight. We'll see what's available as options for sure. 101-51085. I don't even know if that's your name. You got you to gotta get a, a name that's not just numbers if you want me to get it right. I'm sorry. It's too comp convoluted. But there you go. I put you up there. <laughs> that's the lady super chatter. Okay. Be as a be thankful you didn't crash. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. All right, ready? Learn to fly. For this lesson, we're going to use a line drawn on the windshield to indicate the crew's attitude. Okay. I've also added another dotted line to help you bank properly for left turns. Okay. Gently move the yoke to the left until the dotted line matches up with the horizon. Then maintain that bank. Smooth. A smooth left turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Keep working on it. You'll get better. Watch your altitude. It wasn't constant during the turn. Now uh -huh. let's see you level back out. All it's right. very touchy. It really is. You just, I'm step, barely touching the thumbs again. It's going, whoa, 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 let's whoa. Let's see how you do on your own without any markings. Okay. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. What are you talking about? As a general rule, you oh, God, look at that thing down there. Under Start banking right until you're lined up with the second notch to the right on the attitude indicator. Then maintain that 20 degree bank while remaining at the same altitude until I ask you to stop. I'm going too fast. There we go. That's it. I went two, I went three notches. She said to go two notches and I accidentally did three. So they're gonna give me like a C or a D ranking. Watch. Keep working on it. You'll get better. Keep working to maintain a constant altitude during the turn. It's hard to maintain the altitude Level during is back the turn. Out now. Cool. Great. Small corrections on the yoke lead to more accurate turns. It's very small. Like, I'm just barely touching the thumbstick, and that aircraft is moving a ton. It's got to be pretty challenging to learn how to master how to fly. It's so touchy. Uh, Connor X crashes to me $4. He says, I'll give you an A for effort on those training courses. Well, thank you, Connor. At least someone appreciates that I'm trying to do something I've never done before. The game apparently doesn't. The game is just like, they think that I'm, I'm rubbish, I'm a, I'm a pee on hogwash, and how dare I even act like I know what I'm doing, you know. Poppycock. Well, you guys at least are having fun, so that's good. As long as you guys are enjoying me trying to learn how to fly. So, it looks like we got a few more power settings. Straight and level flight and attitude test. Then we can actually do some flights. Alright. Let's do these three quickly. And then we'll do real flights after this. Because I don't want to do any more training apps. Just do the basics. So. 
Uh, it's true, you're flying life or death if you fail. I mean, you're, you're fucked. If you fail flying when you're learning and no one's there to help you, you're gonna crash and die. It's very true. Scary thought. You know? It's a pretty scary thought. That's it. Oh, I want to learn how to fly. Oh, you died. Oops. Fuck. I don't know if I would ever want to fly in real life. Alright, let's do it. Let's talk about the throttle. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle. Oh, come on. Why'd you say that? All control over the power output of the engine. In the Cessna 152, that relays directly to the RPM displayed on the tachometer. That's Pull back RPM? on the throttle oh, to reduce RPM to 1800. Okay, that's holding B, right? Okay. Oh, I went too far. Wow, it's very hard to control. It goes it goes over. Dude, I can't get it to stop. Once it starts moving, it won't stop moving. Dude! I'm barely touching it. Okay. Look how your speed and altitude are also decreasing. That's okay. Okay, let's throttle back up to 2400 RPM. Okay. Way too fast. Way too fast. Go down. Okay, there we are. It went too fast. That's good. Nope, now it went too under. Wow, this is ridiculous. It's very hard to control it. Now it's going to go over. Watch. Your speed it really is increasing now. As long as you maintain the same attitude, your altitude will keep climbing as well. Keep working on it. You'll get better. Don't criticize I me. Think a bit more practice may be a good idea. What? Who the? Oh, see, I got fucked. Yo, I got owned. That's hard. You hold it down, and it keeps going way too far. And then you you release, and it keeps moving in that direction. So then you gotta like try to keep pushing and pulling and adjusting it very little bit to get it to move. I got owned, man. Carl and Judy to me, Dollar Three said, I recommend the training about taking off and landing. You don't do any others at all. I've played these in the past. It's not self explanatory for every plane, especially hydroplanes. Okay. So we know how to speed up and slow down. We know about adjusting the, you know, the angle for going left and right and stuff. We know about maintaining altitude. We know about having a good attitude when you're in the. You always need to have a good attitude when you're piloting. If you have a bad attitude, you're going to crash no matter what. It's all about the mental state. That's what she said, right? I think that's what she said. Maybe I didn't misunderstood her. Okay. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes? I didn't make a mistake. I don't know what you're talking about. I was flawless. <laughs> I was good. I don't know. You know What are you talking about, man? Mistakes. What is going on with you? What are you talking about? <laughs> I must only get A pluses. Yes. On my first attempt, I must only get an A plus on every stage. That is the only way to fly, man. Okay. In this lesson, let's take a look at the relationship between attitudes and power settings. Attitude plus power equals performance. Yeah, I like You're that. currently at 5,500 feet in a cruise attitude. The okay. aircraft's nose is positioned under the horizon and cruise power is at 2300 rpm try to reduce power to 2000 rpm while maintaining 5500 feet oh man okay it's so hard to control the power level I'm trying but Okay, I think I did it. That's good. You probably noticed, to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. What is a trim Drag wheel? Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. What? Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without what? increasing throttle. What did she just say? Add tr right bumper plus... What? 
I don't understand what she's saying. Right bumper plus R? You put your plane in a dangerous situation. <laughs> I don't understand what she's saying. Right bumper plus R? To maintain pulls on the yoke? You to pitch the nose up. You could just keep pulling no, on what the, the yoke hell? to steady. But that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push this or pull is so on the weird. Yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Yeah! Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm so confused. What is she talking about? means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. I don't understand it. You put your plane in a dangerous It says right position. bumper and, and down on the right thumbstick. I do that and then the plane you pulls up into a dangerous position. I die. It doesn't explain you what you're doing. The nose up. What is the camera doing now? You just keep pulling on <laughs> the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need this to push so or pull confusing. on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. You put your plane in a dangerous When you situation. do it, it just says you put your plane in a dangerous position. I'm not even you holding anything but what it's saying. Right bumper and down, right thumb stick, and it says that you, you're wrong. You could yeah, this is a terrible tutorial for this one. Steady, it doesn't explain anything. I don't get it. I don't understand what she's talking about. Control. What the Probably fuck is a yoke wheel? Your trim wheel until you don't a trim wheel, yeah. What is this? Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet I don't without know what this increasing means. throttle. What will happen? Look, it happened again. What? Oh! Whoa, whoa. What the fuck is happening? What? You put your plane <laughs> in a dangerous situation. I don't understand. You probably noticed to maintain altitude. What I noticed is you didn't tell me what I'm doing, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That's what I noticed. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. So it says maintain your altitude at 5,500 feet using left thumb stick. Right. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you fucking dumbass. To maintain altitude, you need to pitch the oh nose up. Oh my god. Try it out. Trim the aircraft to maintain 5,500 feet. You could just keep pulling on the yoke <laughs> to hold steady. Oh, uh, really what? A precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try it out. Trim the aircraft to maintain 5,500 feet. Oh Try adding God. trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. I'm not Try even doing. Wait a minute. Trim Look. The aircraft to maintain 5, I'm not even good. doing anything. Increase power to 2,500 <laughs> RPM while maintaining. My hand wasn't even on the fucking buttons. Get us back to a cruise attitude. What? My hand wasn't even Excellent. on the buttons. Now adjust the trim. I'm not doing anything. Look. I'm not doing anything. All right. Wow, great job. <laughs> the way I was taught, when what you the fuck? The trim, you make course changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke. Then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. If you feel your pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper <laughs> attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. That's the key to straight and level flight. Wow, I learned nothing. Thanks. I learned absolutely nothing about what you're talking about. And you gave me an A. I learned nothing because the game never explained it. And then it just randomly put me in the position to pass. So I have no clue what just happened. 
All right, great. Uh, six seventy-two to be six dollars seventy-two cents as DSP flies it straight into the ground. Thanks for the confidence there, six seventy-two. I really appreciate that, man. <laughs> Thanks. So I have absolutely no idea what went wrong there or what I was supposed to be doing. The game literally didn't explain. It was like, oh well, <laughs> you passed or you failed. Gee, thanks. It's a nice sink or swim attitude there. All right, anyway, I got an A because I'm so good, you see? That's what happened. <laughs> okay. Continuing on. So the last thing they have is attitude test. Nah, fuck that. Let's just do some takeoff and landing and then we'll be done. Then we'll actually do some flights because I'm already bored. Taxiing, takeoff, dead stick landing, landing without an elevator, landing downwind for solo flight. Oh God. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> oh man any day now <sighs> Oof. I'm sorry, but the, the tutorials bore me. I want to actually fly, but it sucks. I have to learn this stuff first, you know? Let's take a moment to talk about taxiing. Taxiing refers to moving the aircraft on the ground under its own power. Okay. In particular, getting from the ramp out to the hold short point on the edge of the runway. Steering on the ground is managed through the rudder pedals. That's right. Unlike driving a car, we turn by using our feet. Huh. Okay, ready? With the throttle idle, release your parking brake. What? That's left. Okay. okay. Now, gently increase throttle to get the aircraft moving. A. Go easy on your throttle. Use your rudder pedal to turn left and enter the taxiway. As you increase power, watch the tachometer and make sure to stay around 1,000 RPM. Now test the brakes. Watch your speed. Right. Good. Brakes checked. Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. Unfortunately, one of your wheels crossed out of the taxiway. Huh? Oh. Couldn't Taxi tell. Taxi to the next exit, then come to a stop. I Remember couldn't tell. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. See the crossing in front of us? Stop before it as if traffic was coming off the runway. Where do they want me to stop? Watch right your here? speed. Watch your speed. I couldn't stop. I tried. Unfortunately, one of your wheels it didn't work. The taxiway. I pressed Taxi brake. Didn't, it didn't break. Then come to a stop. Remember to control your speed with throttle and brakes. I guess I should have lowered the See throttle the too, not just the brakes. Huh? Stop before it, as if traffic was coming off the runway. Okay. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. I did it. All right, taxi to holding point Alpha 1 next. It's at the far end of the airport near the head of runway 21. Okay. Stay as close as possible to the taxiway center marked by the yellow line and watch your speed. So it's basically a very slow start to move and once you start moving you get tons of momentum. It's hard to slow down too. It's not like a car at all. It's actually quite complicated. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. Break a little bit. There we go. Watch your speed. I'm... Uh, what are you... I'm fast. I like to get things done fast. <laughs> After the right turn, come to a stop before the hold short point in prep for takeoff. Okay. Stop at the holding point. And watch my speed. Watch my speed. Watch my speed. And 
Now I'm going too. I feel like I'm going too slow, but I have to stop here, so I'm not going to increase speed. Unfortunately, one of your wings took off one of a worker's heads right here on the runway, so you're fucked. That All right. Was good taxiing. The next challenge will be to keep the aircraft under control. Oh boy. Full throttle for no, that's a bad. Sh that's a bad idea. You shouldn't let me do that. B again, you fucker. A B. Take off. Here we go. Watch your fucking speed. Watch this fucking speed. Watch this shit. How much is a P normal PS5 price at? Wasn't it $399 digital, $499 for the disc version? I believe that's what it was. Yeah. When I say this game is chill, I mean, I haven't really played it yet. We're just learning the basics. I knew this was going to happen. It's a two-hour stream. Already, we're almost an hour in, and I haven't even flown yet because it's just too many tutorials to go through to learn it. I knew this would happen. We might be just doing tutorials tonight and not actually do a flight at this rate. There's an old saying I like. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. That's stupid. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway, and to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Kay. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then okay. stop your plane just after the number 21. Way too fast. Uh oh. Oh! I can't reduce speed. I'm trying to reduce speed. Reduce speed. Reduce your speed. Reduce it. No, you're you're going way too fast. I reduced the throttle to zero. I can't stop. Uncontrollable. Let's get back in position and try again. Now slowly taxi onto the runway. And align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Okay. Let's go. Here we are. Stop! Stop! Stop the plane! Stop the plane! Stop it! Well, Keep working on it. You'll get better. <laughs> right, I, I go overshot it. it. Apply full power, and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. <sighs> okay, here we go. Ready? Little car man, man, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night, man. Sorry you couldn't stay. See me fuck up. I'm holding A. What are you talking about? Look. Go look what I'm doing. Down. What the fuck? It's not working. Inoperative. There. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Use it's an inoperative. Stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. More power! Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. Oh, here we go. You're ready. Gently. Oh. Oh. And we're airborne. Well, that was nice. That was smooth. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. How's that? Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. All right. 
I don't know where the altimeter is. I forgot already, but I think I'm climbing. What? I right, did? This. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the I put my plan in a dangerous situation? What did I do? I, was I drinking? <laughs> oh, was I snorting like crack cocaine not while I was flying? How did I do it? I don't understand what she's saying. Power until you reach 55 knots. I don't even know what I did wrong. I have no clue. Can you tell me what I did wrong instead of just saying it was dangerous? Good. Now gently back on the yoke. Alrighty. And here we go. Pull back on the yoke to take off. And we're airborne. Okay. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Focus like on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. I can't see the runway Maintain heading. 75 knots, and we'll reach our target altitude of 55. Oh, I see it. Okay, I see it right there. I got it. I don't see our... I can't see how high we are. I, I can see that we're level, but I can't see how high we are. I don't know where that meter is. Is it that one right there that's climbing all the way to three? Now it's going to four, so that'll be 4,000, possibly. I think that's what it is. You want to go to 5,500, so now we're at 4,000. Maintain 75 knots and climb to 5,500 We're feet. almost there. Okay, all right. 5,500 feet. We did it. You've reached your target altitude. That was a nice takeoff. Okay, I did my first takeoff. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I almost died. I got an A. I'm very excited. Okay. Dead stick landing. Oh, man. Okay. Dead stick landing. I don't know what that means. We're about to find out. All right, uh, Kagome. Have a good night. Ooh, excuse me. Derek says the graphics are really good. The sky is beautiful. <laughs> All right.